All right, this is second grade, module seven, lesson two. And in this lesson, we're going to be drawing picture graphs. And so the real point of this for parents and teachers is uh, for me to share with you, well, what is a picture graph? And so let's just get started on this. So the idea of a picture graph is a way to organize your data, much like a bar graph. Um, but it's, there's some differences. So we've got a table here and it says favorite mammals and we've got four different kinds of mammals and which one is your favorite mammal. And then we've got some questions that we're going to answer once we've made our picture graph. So we've got a, you'll notice a title, we have a legend, and then these are going to be our category titles here. And so the title of the overall picture graph is generally going to be the same thing as the title of your table. So this is favorite mammals. So let's put that in. Favorite favorite there we go. Favorite <laughs> mammals. All right. Mammals. All right. So there's our favorite mammals title. And then down here is our titles, our categories. So we're going to put tiger, panda, snow leopard, and gorilla. And because it's getting a little small, I'm going to zoom in. We have tiger. And then what was the other one that we had? Panda. Panda. We had snow leopard. And then what was the other one that we had? Gorilla. All right, then gorilla. All right, so those are our category titles. And then the legend. So the legend down here basically is saying for each picture that we put in to represent tigers, is that going to represent one tiger or two tigers or five tigers? Uh, so each picture. So I see that our largest number is 12. So let's see if we can do by ones. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, so we could, if we wanted to, make each one of the little pictures that we draw in here represent one um, animal. So what picture do we want to use? Oh, it doesn't really matter. Let's do stars because it's easy. So we're going to put each star represents one animal. And really I should put one mammal maybe because we're talking about mammals. So we might as well talk about mammals here. So I see that we have eight tigers. So what does that mean? Well, that means we're going to put in eight stars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So there are our eight stars to represent the eight tigers. Now we have 11 pandas. So we're going to put in 11 stars for our pandas. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I see that we have 7 snow leopards. So we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, And then lastly, I see that we have 12 gorillas. So right above the gorillas here, we're going to put 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And there is our pictograph. So the big key aspects of a pictograph, you got to have a title. You have to have category uh, labels right here. You have to have some sort of legend telling you that each star, in this case, represents one mammal. But really, if the numbers were big enough, each star could have represented five or five mammals or two mammals, whatever. 
So now we can answer any number of questions. So parents and teachers, this is also a great opportunity to let your students come up with their own questions that they want to answer. And then, of course, you can share those questions with the whole class. But also, I also want to point out some super vo important vocabulary words. How many more? How many more? How many fewer? These are phrases that our English language learners are going to need to become familiar with. So that's a perfect thing to put up in your word wall. So let's see. How many people, how many more people chose gorilla as their favorite mammal than chose tiger? So we want to know how many more chose gorilla than tiger. Nice way to do that is we can start here with their tigers and move over. There's tigers and then go one, two, three, four. So there's four. So let your students not only tell you what the answer is, but more importantly, tell them, ask them how they came up with that right answer. And that wraps up second grade module seven, lesson two, making picture graphs to represent the data that we have been given.